the attorney that contacted me was frustrated because the people who are squatting are hiding behind the civil eviction law that Senator Lucero pointed out. And so that is, is a large part of where the problem is. And as I look at our trespass statutes, which the attorney said, well, we, my clients would simply like to lock the door and lock them out if they're not there legally, if they don't have a lease, if they don't have permission to be there, et cetera. But those laws evidently around the eviction laws don't allow them to do that. So Senator Lucero's amendment embeds right in the eviction law the ability for somebody that finds a person on their property illegally to be removed for trespass. Now, so the conditions are outlined in the amendment on 1.15 through 1.1 1 .1 or 1.20, and I'll read them to you. Uh, if they don't have a signed lease for the residential uh, rental unit or the individual does not have a current valid contract or sublease, and the person has been given a notice by the tenant or property owner that they're not invited to be here, and does not have the explicit permission of the tenant or property owner to be in the residence. So it's not a visitor of the tenant. The tenant didn't give them permission to be there. The, the property owner didn't give them permission to be there. And they don't have a lease. They don't have a legal reason to be there. This amendment says specifically within that convoluted eviction law that if those conditions are met, then members, Mr. President, then the sheriff or law enforcement can remove that person using our trespass law, which, and without the conditions that are outlined in the trespass law, Mr. President, the trespass law, if you go to 609.605, says uh, that you have to put up a sign at least eight and a half by 11 inches in a conspicuous place on the exterior of the building um, and some other conditions that you have to have. And then it can be a misdemeanor if the person intentionally, and I'm gonna go through some of the examples here, permits domestic animals or fowls under the actor's control to go on the land of another within the city, interferes unlawfully with a monument sign or pointer erected or marked to designate a point of boundary line or political subdivision or of a tract of land, trespasses on the premise of another and without claim of right refuses to depart from the premises on demand of the lawful possessor. So Mr. President, it is there in our trespass law, but there's a bunch of, of conditions that are laid out on top of it that seem to be a deterrent to our law enforcement and certainly our, our prosecutors who aren't prosecuting anyway uh, in some of our counties in Minnesota. Um, but it's a deterrent to the process for the legal landowner of that property. The property owner with the right to that property cannot remove them because of these obstructions in law that we have placed there. Um, and there's there are some other ones in here. Enters a premises of another with intent to take or injure any fruit, fruit trees, or vegetables. So if they're going to take fruit or fruit trees or vegetables, uh, they have the same uh, level of rights uh, to protecting their property as somebody whose house is broken into in this state. As a matter of fact, Mr. President, that same statute under Subdivision 2 uh, offers a higher level of punishment, a gross misdemeanor for several conditions. Somebody who, uh, uh, somebody who trespasses on a property that provides services for sex, traffic, sex trafficking victims, uh, a facility providing transitional housing for battered women and their children. Uh, another condition uh, that, that uh, is covered by the gross misdemeanor is somebody who trespasses on school property. Um, if, if they're trespassing on school property, it's, you know, they're on the government land, uh, Mr. President, it's a higher crime than poor Senator Lucero or another 
landlord or, or property owner who has, has to go through the burden of our, of our overburdensome eviction law. So if they trespass on a school bus, it's a gross misdemeanor. If they trespass on certain agricultural land, so it's a gross misdemeanor. A, a person is guilty of a gross misdemeanor if the person enters the post of premises of another on which cattle, bison, sheep, goats, swine, horses, poultry, farm cervidae, farm radicae, aquaculture stock, or other species of domestic animal for co commercial production are kept. So if there's chickens or goats on the land, it's a gross misdemeanor. But Senator Lucero's got somebody in their house illegally, and he can't get them out because our eviction law is so much written to prevent him from protecting his own property that he can't do it. And so, Mr. President, members, what Senator Lucero's amendment does is it writes right into the eviction law. Senator Lucero, you can go right to 609.605, and if these three conditions are met, you can lock the door and ask the person to leave, and they can't be suing you or doing whatever else is currently allowed under the very cumbersome eviction laws in the state of Minnesota. Members, vote yes, vote green, vote for property rights. Vote for the rights of the person who toiled many, many days and weeks and months and years of their life to achieve what they achieved, however small or large it is. Vote for the rights of that person to protect their property from somebody who wants to come in and simply take it from them. Thank you, Mr. President.